Then, a miracle happened. Aunt Ida was having a baby, and the adults had to rush to the hospital. But if they all left, who would run the store? Me, 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 said Shirley. I'm ready for duty. Mrs. Gottlieb is here, said Uncle Morris, and Shirley can help. Papa gave Shirley a kiss on the keppola. Sell the fish or we'll be eating it for weeks, said Papa. Mama said, don't worry about selling. The neighbors don't know from good gefilte fish. Just mind Mrs. Gottlieb. I'm taking fish for Ida, shouted Uncle Morris. Now, hurry. When they were gone, Shirley wasted no time. She straightened. She decorated. She modernized. She made a sign that said, buy anything and get a surprise. What a masterpiece. Mrs. Hernandez arrived. Tomatoes, please, Shirley, and a pound of noodle kugel. Shirley packed up her order nicely and placed a special surprise inside the bag. Mr. Lombardo came in next. Tuna, please, Shirley. Two tins for me, two for the cats. The Trow boys came in with their list, and Miss Han. Later that evening, each neighbor found a surprise. When Mama and Papa returned, they found a surprise, too. The gefilte fish is gone. Shirley sold all of it, said Mama. But so little money in the register, said Papa. Surprise! I gave it all away. Mama was not happy. Papa was furious. Shirley was sent to bed early. In the morning, Shirley went downstairs to roll up the blinds. And there was Mrs. Hernandez and Mr. Lombardo, the Trow boys, Miss Han, the whole neighborhood, all lined up and all waiting for the new neighborhood delicacy, gefilte fish. You know, you have some pretty good ideas in that keppola after all, said Mama. That's my smart maid Allah, said Papa. Shirley helped hang up the new sign that said, Try Shirley's gefilte fish. After all, it was Shirley's store too. And there was work to do.